Hi friends, welcome to this class. And in this class, we are going to discuss about the types of reactions in non-aqueous solvents. What kind of reactions occurs in non-aqueous solvents? So far, we have learnt the reactions occurring in water, that is aqueous solution. In our intermediate, that is PU, and also in our junior classes, we have learnt those reactions, but not about these non-aqueous solvents. So, there are five reactions I am going to discuss in this chapter. The first one is acid-base reaction followed by methyl reaction. Methyl reaction is nothing but precipitation reaction. If precipitation occurs in aqueous solution, that is precipitation reaction. We know that. If it, the same pre precipitation occurs in non-aqueous solvents, then those are called metathetical reactions. And also salt formation reaction. Salvation reaction, I told hydration reaction and salvolytic or salvolysis where solvent is going to break and going to attack the solute molecule that is about salvolytic reaction. We shall go one by one. First one is acid base reaction. I am going to discuss acid base as well as salt formation at a stretch because both are nothing but the same. See, I told in my first class I explained about this acid base reaction or the neutralization reaction. There I considered HCl which acts as acid because of this H plus ion it acts as acid in aqueous medium. It is about aqueous medium and NaOH it acts as base because of this OH minus in aqueous medium. Aqueous medium means water and H plus because of it acts as acid. Acid and base react in this is in presence of H2O. So it is aqueous reaction to form NaCl plus H2. This is NaCl is nothing but salt. So it is salt formation reaction. So and this is water. This is nothing but solvent. And also I told in my previous class that say if ammonia, if we take two moles of ammonia, we are going to get NH4 plus and NH2 minus. I call this as ammonium ion, cat ion. And this ammonium ion acts as acid in ammonia solvent. And this amide, NH2 minus, I call it as amide, which acts as base in ammonium solvent. This we discuss. The same reaction that is salt formation or the neutralization reaction is that consider this NH4Cl and I consider NH2 in liquid ammonia. I am not going to consider any water molecule here. So this is non-equivalent solvent reaction. I told in liquid NA ammonia this NH4 plus NH4 plus Cl minus. This NH4 plus acts as acid and this NH2 minus acts as base in liquid ammonia. So acid reacts with base to give salt NaCl plus water. I mean solvent. Here solvent is ammonia NH3. See is it the reaction is balanced? No it is not balanced. See here ammonia this and this gives two moles of ammonia which is nothing but solvent. And whereas this NaCl, NaCl react to form salt. So this is salt formation reaction in non-aqueous solvents. This is about uh, acid base reaction and salt formation reaction. It is, I, I, I hope I have explained it clearly. From this ex example, you can easily understand what happens. And you can give many more examples no doubt you can give you can take you can refer many books and you can do many more reactions and one more interesting thing i want to tell in this non aqueous solvent is see what it is ch3coh acetic acid we know that acetic acid is a weak acid why why it is weak because this acetic acid in aqueous that is h2o it is going to split into CH3COO minus plus H plus. 
This is called as dissociation. Dissociation of acetic acid. Whereas if we consider HCl plus H2, we are going to get H plus or I can write H3O plus plus Cl minus. We know. We call this HCl as strong acid in aqueous medium and this acetic acid as weak acid because the reason is this acetic acid is not a strong electrolyte it is not going to dissociate completely if I have considered 100 mol of acetic acid it reacts with ammonia uh, that is water it is going to split into CH3CO minus 2 mol and 2 mol of H plus and other 98 mole will remain as CH3COOH because of this dissociation will not occur because of this as there is no complete dissociation it is weak electrolyte so only less number of H plus ions are produced so it is weak acid whereas HCl was strong acid because if there are 100 mole of HCl it is going to give you 100 mole of H3O plus and 100 mole of Cl minus so it completely dissociate so we call this as strong electrolyte because of more number of H plus ion it is strong acid which we explained in our junior classes that we know but this, this is weak acid weak acid in presence of water it acts as weak acid if I consider this CH3COOH in presence of liquid ammonia, I am not going to consider any water molecule. It is only non aqueous solvent that is liquid ammonia. Then we know that this is ammonia is basic in nature because of lone pair of electron. It pulls this H plus, so there will be completely dissociation because of which I am going to get CH3CO minus plus NH4. Plus, if there are 100 moles, I am going to get 100 moles of this and 100 moles of this. That is, here in presence of liquid ammonia, it acts as strong acid. That is the beauty of liquid ammonia, using liquid ammonia as a solvent. So, the next consider this same CH3CO so acetic acid. Instead of liquid ammonia, I will consider H2SO4 acid. Like HCl, H2SO4 is a strong acid. It is going to give complete H plus ion. Because it is going to give complete H plus ion, so this is not going to dissociate at all. It is going to accept this H plus ion. So, since it is a strong acid, it is going to give complete H plus ion. Why? It is strong acid. So, it is going to accept that H plus ion. So, here this CH3COH acetic acid acts as base. What kind of base? Base, weak base. So, see, in water it acted as weak acid whereas in presence of H2SO4 it acted as weak base and also in presence of ammonia it acted as strong acid that is the beauty about this solvents how, how what happens when we change the solvent keeping this same see because of this the reaction is CH3COO H2 plus and HSO4 minus this is the reaction what happens that is the beauty of this uh, solvents so i hope i have explained you clearly and i hope you like this if you like these videos please don't forget to share with your friends if you share they are going to be benefited and also in some places they will also share you the good videos also i explained about acid base reaction and also salt formation reaction then it's the term about methylatical reaction or the precipitation reaction see what happens is consider water here here i have water in that ea cl2 I have put and I have found BaCl2 solution and in this BaCl2 solution I am going to add AZNO3 AZNO3 what happens I am going to get AgCl plus 
बी ए एल नो थ्री टॉयस एल नो थ्री टॉयस द रिएक्शन इज नॉट बैलेंस यू शुड बैलेंस सो इट इज टू इज दिस एंड आई एम गोइंग टू गेट बी ए एल नो थ्री टॉयस and we know that in since it is taking place in h2 medium agcl will be precipitated it is going to settle down here and the this salt is present in water that we know this is precipitated in water but in case of liquid ammonia takes a agcl and more or see this base here to act as salt here Where in aqueous medium it acts as salt and AgCl acts as precipitate. But in case of liquid ammonia, this AgCl will not precipitate. It acts as salt. For this salt, in presence of liquid ammonia, when I add this barium nitrate, BO, NO3, so I add barium nitrate in liquid ammonia. And what I'm going to get? I'm going to get BaCl. Plus BaCl plus Ag and O3, isn't it? Here the BaCl2, that is barium chloride, was acting as salt, but here in liquid ammonia, barium chloride acts as precipitate and it is going to settle down. So the precipitation reaction we represent it by this symbol. Let me write PPT precipitation. The same thing. Which was acting as salt in aqueous medium was acting as precipitate in liquid ammonia. That is non-aqueous solvent. It is about methodical reaction or precipitation reaction. Next, let me discuss about solvation and solvolytic reaction. And we know that what is solvation? Solvation is nothing but addition of solvent molecule to the solute. For example, here the solvent molecule will not break. Only it will going to add. In my first class, I discussed about this thing. See, I considered CuSO4, which was colorless, and I added five moles of H2SO4. I got bright blue color. CuSO4 into five H2O. Because of these five molecules of water, it got blue color. That we discussed. This is nothing but. solvation the solvent is water here so this is hydration i explained it in my first class isn't it hydration so say if i consider if it, this is aqueous reaction if i consider non aqueous let me consider the same cuso4 plus 4 molecule of ammonia then i am going to get cuso4 into 4 nh3 This is ammoniation or solvation. Since ammonia is acting as solvent, so this is ammoniation, isn't it? This is about ammoniation. Let me consider instead of uh, BaSO4, let me consider and instead of this 4NH3, let me consider three moles of H2SO4. Then what happens is the same thing. BaSO4 into three moles of H2SO4. This is nothing but solvation of sulfuric acid. Solvation that is addition of what sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid. This is about solvation. And also, if I consider, see, instead of this CuCl2, if I consider this. CO to CO to in presence of four ammonia, what it happens is it forms complex like CO and its three ammonia. How many four times it gets two plus charge and two Cl minus. This kind of compound we have found in uh, chemical bonding, isn't it? And here it is also a. addition of uh, solvent molecule so it is ammoniation and this is example for complex formation in case of non aqueous solvent that is tetra ammonia copper to ion i can say copper to chloride it is about complex formation as well as 
salvation. Last but not least, we should discuss about salvolytic or salvolysis. What is salvolytic or lysis? Is nothing but solvent is broken down into two particles. That is, if we have H2O, this is H2O, it has been broken into H plus and OH minus. Similarly, we have what? Ammonia like this, NH3. If we consider two moles, one will give NH2 minus and other will be NH4 plus. Like this, the solvent molecule is going to be broken down. So, I have got few reactions for this. Even I can't remember those reactions, so I need to refer the book because I should not give you any wrong information. So, see, if water is acting as solvent, first one, if water is acting as solvent, then there, two moles of water is going to break as H3O plus and OH minus. This is nothing but solvolytic. Here, since it is water, hydrolytic. And I am going to consider this SO2Cl2, two molecule of SO2Cl2 and this acts as acid. So when this react with this four molecules of H2O water, this water is going to break and it is going to form like this SO2OH twice plus two moles of H3O minus plus 2 moles of Cl minus. Because of forming of 2 moles of H3O plus, the total solution will be acidic in nature. Because of this H plus, that is H3O plus, the total solution is acidic. So see, acid when added in water, it forms acidic solution. We know, HCl added to water, it will be acidic. The solution will be acidic. The same thing happened. Acid when added in water, Acidic solution and here the water is breaking. How it is breaking? Like this. S3 plus and OH minus and it is going to react like this. Similarly, if I consider F minus base when added to this water, I am going to get HF plus OH minus base when added to water, I am going to get basic solution. Why basic solution? This is because of these things. Because of OH minus, it is basic in nature. This is about aqueous because water is acted as solvent. What happens if liquid ammonia, that is non aqueous solvent, is taken? How this solvolytic or the breaking of ammonia takes place? Let me explain to you. See, uh, this is second one. When ammonia acts as solvent, here water is absent, so it is non aqueous non aqueous reaction. So what happens? How ammonia is going to break? I have explained you. Two moles of ammonia. One will give H plus forming NH2 minus and we call it as amide. And this amide acts as base in liquid ammonia. And this NH4 plus ammonium ion which acts as acid in liquid ammonia. And since it is breaking, this is lysis, ammonia lysis. We know this, isn't it? So, see, if SO2Cl2 acid added in this ammonia, how many moles? It is 4 moles of ammonia. Then the reaction is SO2 NH ammonia NH3 NH2 it becomes minus NH2 minus twice plus NH4 is left 2 moles of NH4 plus plus 2 moles of Cl minus because of this NH4 plus it acts as acid I told because NH4 plus acts as acid in ammonia this is in presence of liquid ammonia see here Cl2 is acting as minus Cl minus no here NH2 minus will come that is about this reaction and if I place H minus, H minus is nothing but base, base when added with this ammonia NH3, what it takes, it takes H plus, it becomes H2 gas 
and it moves out forming NH2 